Item number SCP-1512-EX Object Class Safe Update Explained Special containment procedures All instances of SCP-1512 are to be kept at Site-66 under modified P4 conditions. All materials related to SCP-1512 are to be handled similarly to P4 pathogenic material and SCP-1512 itself is kept in an ISO class clean room environment. All related products and byproducts of SCP-1512 are to be disposed of utilizing P4 procedures for disposing of laboratory waste. Update resented. Refer to Addendum 1512-3. All personnel working with SCP-1512 are to undergo weekly medical tests and laboratory examination to ensure that no accidental infection by SCP-1512 is carried outside of the containment research facility. Personnel who have been infected by byproducts of SCP-1512 are to be contained and treated with retortic inhibitors, venvestine or phenylestine, for a period of no less than 28 days. If SCP-1512 byproducts have not been cleared out of the infected personnel system after the 28-day treatment, termination via fire is to be carried out. Update, resented, referred to Addendum 1512-2. No current special procedures exist for containment. SCP-1512-EX is to be kept in an ISO Class 1 cleaning room at all times. Research proposals involving SCP-1512-EX are to go to the project lead, who at the time of this writing is Dr. G. Hewlett. Referred to Addendum 1512-4. Description. SCP-1512 are six electromechanical devices capable of artificially creating cellular matrices dissembling functional human organs when provided with proper cellular material and growth media. All recovered devices operate in the following matter. A reservoir of cells, embryonic stem cells at the time of recovery, is kept in fluid suspension. The device, a modified CNC rooting machine, moves into position where cells are required over a growth medium. As the device head passes over the growth medium, a stepper motor turns a screw that extrudes the cellular material over the growth medium. When the layer is complete, a support plate lowers gradually, allowing for a 3D model to be built from living cells. The machine stops once the entire model has been completed. Biological structures created with embryonic stem cells require an external stimulus to influence the cell type. But adult stem cells appear to be easier to influence and control with respect to desired cell type. Referred to Addendum 1512-2 for details. SCP-1512 is compatible with running the G-code RS-274 numerical control language, which is used to operate most computer-aided manufacturing, CAM, machines, and devices. Recovery All instances of SCP-1512 were recovered from an abandoned Prometheus Labs facility following the company's collapse in BEEP. All devices, software, and incomplete technical testing data were recovered without incident, and all material was transferred to Site-66 for processing and containment. Addendum 1512-1 Due to the usage of embryonic stem cells, there is a concern that biological structures created by SCP-1512 may result in potentially deleterious objects being created. Object containment class remains at safe, but handling procedures now formally adopt P4 procedures for handling all products and byproducts of SCP-1512. Addendum 1512-2 as part of an experiment proposal to replace Agent Redacted's index fingertip, which was lost during a field mission, one unusual instance of SCP-1512 
was prepared with adult stem cells derived from said agent's bone marrow, and an artificial bone and tissue construct was created following successful attachment refascularization surgery and no signs of mutation nor other deleterious side effects, SCP-1512's P4 status has been lifted, and research may continue at a lower protection level. Addendum 1512-3 Following the news of biomedical research company Oginofo developing its own process for safe bioprinting in 2007, in conjunction with the University of Virginia, Foundation agents have obtained copies of Organovo's note to compare to extent instances of SCP-1512. Following strong similarities between Organovo's note and note corroborated by research into SCP-1512, the Overseer Council has decided to officially reclassify SCP-1512 as explained. As the technology utilized in creating SCP-1512 is now considered advanced scientific knowledge rather than anomalous phenomena. Addendum 1512-4 Following the expiration of the Stratasys Limited FDM patent in 2009, other companies following the footsteps of Organovo have begun experimentation with power printing methods utilizing fused deposition modeling. FDM technology. In response to the explosive growth, the Foundation has inserted former research staff assigned to SCP-1512-EX, two different companies, to oversee and guide safe and effective development of downstream technology. Dr. G. Hewlett, former chief researcher for SCP-1512, is now assigned head of the oversight project. Foundation own bioprinting machines now authorized for usage in medical and biological research for other containment objects.